Hello and a very warm welcome to Card for the Day and my name is Judy Sean. Today is Tuesday the 26th of July 2022 and the deck I've been drawn to use is the Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. So I'm sitting here connecting to Mother Earth, Father Spirit and calling in our angels, archangels, spirits and guides, our loved ones and our ancestors to ask them to draw near and to share with us their knowledge, their wisdom, their insight and to let us know what they want us to know today. And we have already a card flipped up and it's forgiveness. You need to forgive yourself and stop beating yourself up. Stop it. Everything that has happened or not happened, everything that has been said or not said, is all part of your journey that has brought you here today. Embrace it. For without that and those experiences, you wouldn't have gained your knowledge, wisdom and insight. But if you're constantly holding on to the past, constantly playing the part of the victim, constantly playing the part of the poor me, constantly beating yourself up, you're not going to go anywhere. That is low energy. Forgiveness is the first step in allowing yourself to let go of the past. Forgiveness is the first step is to embrace your wonderful journey and go, hey, you know what? I'm really glad I didn't say that because this has happened. Or I'm really glad I didn't do that. Or I'm really glad that happened. I'm really glad. Because you can flip it. And when you flip it, you forgive yourself and you can move forward. Forgiveness of yourself is the first step. The second step is to forgive others. Forgive others for what they did or didn't do, for what they said or didn't say. For they are on their own journey, just as you are on your own journey. And together you are one mighty person. And when you embrace what has happened, embrace other people's journeys, just as much as you embrace your own, you forgive them. For people have to say things and not say things. People have to do things and not do things. For that is their own journey. And sometimes our journeys cross and sometimes they don't. But you need to forgive yourself. But to forgive, you are drawing your power back to you. If you're still living in the past, this happened to me, this person did this to me, this happened to me, you're giving your power and your energy away. You're living in a life of low energy. When you're constantly playing the part of poor me, you're constantly putting it out to the universe that this is what you want because they hear what you're saying and they will give you more of it. But when you say, thank you, I forgive myself for whatever it is that you're still holding on to. I forgive those bullies when I was 12 years old. I'm now 60, but I forgive those. I forgive that person who cheated on me when I was 21. I'm now 40. Forgive yourself. Okay? Thank you for being in my life, for you showed me what the person I should not be with. You showed me how it's like to feel to be a bully. So I will never be a bully myself. And if I see other people being a bully, I can step forward and be with them. This opportunity, whatever it was, it gives you an opportunity to grow. When you forgive yourself, you start that growth. You embrace and go, wow, if these things haven't happened, I wouldn't be here now. And then you might be saying to me, but hey, I'm in a really bad place. That's because you haven't embraced and start looking for the positive. When you forgive, you embrace, you move on. A very, very powerful message from our angels. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please like, share and subscribe. I ask to share because there may be someone out there who needs to hear this message. If you're having trouble forgiving yourself, or forgiving other people, contact me. If you'd like to know how to gain your guidance onto your own path, contact me. Have a wonderful day connecting with the angels, remembering to forgive yourself and forgive others. Have an amazing day. Take care. Namaste. Bye.